Today it's all about aircraft performance, how quickly you take off or land, how fast you climb, and how quickly you cruise. Well, after a hiatus from flying, it was just too darn hot. The captain and I are back at it again. Captain right. Doug, we're reunited. All right, good morning. Good morning. Good to see you again. Good to be back. All right. The temperatures are now perfect for flying, and I just want to get out there. But Doug insists we must do some classwork first, my least favorite part. Page after page, so many numbers, figures, and charts. I'm trying to appear interested, but apparently failing miserably. Which is a cold day. <laughs> okay. Got this that is so a lot of far? information. <laughs> okay, flying's about going places and doing things. Right? It is. That's why we do this? Uh-huh. All right. Just when I lose all hope, it seems to suddenly come together. We're going to Las Vegas. We might want to climb to 8,000 feet. Come on, Captain. Couldn't you have just said that to begin with? Vegas, I get it. Now we can take to the skies and apply what I've just learned. What we're about to do is called a short field takeoff. It sounds pretty boring if you ask me, but Captain Doug insists. This is what he calls a maximum performance procedure. Sounds daunting. For the short field takeoff, we're going to hold the brakes. We're going to apply full power, check the engine instruments, make sure that all the instruments are in the green and we're developing full power. Then we're going to release the brakes, make a very aggressive climb. And we're off! What's the purpose? It's for taking off on a grass or an unimproved runway. Training to be a pilot keeps you on your toes. When you're navigating these skies, you never know what you're going to learn next. I'm